Snatch Drunk. You already know all about DuckTales, DuckTales 2, probably even Chippendale Rescue Rangers, but how about Darkwing Duck? He's always been kind of the unsung hero of the old Disney Afternoon cartoon block from the 90s. Sure, everyone loved DuckTales, Rescue Rangers, and even Tailspin and Goof Troop, but Darkwing Duck was great, especially because it featured my favorite animated character of all time, Launchpad. Love that guy. So like its predecessors, Darkwing Duck also received the NES Capcom treatment. While I don't think this game is on the same level as DuckTales, which has really addicting gameplay, clever level design, and fantastic music, Darkwing isn't far behind. Yeah, it's a basic platformer, as simple as you'd expect, but what makes it good is the versatility of Darkwing. He shoots a projectile, has a nice range of motion with his jump, and the level design matches that nicely, as he can cling to and swing on things, he can block things with his cape, and he can shoot while ducking as well, which is something that's usually taken for granted in games of the era, but that small touch wasn't that common for the time. Like DuckTales, you pick the order of the stages, unlocking three levels at a time for seven stages total. There's almost a Kid Icarus meets Mega Man style to these levels. There's a definite Mega Man vibe with this section here. And there's a lot of hidden areas you can discover if you poke around a bit. I will say I don't really like the weapon power-ups in this game. One gives you two diagonal shots, which is just frustrating. Another upgrade has too short a range and reminds me of the Game Boy Mega Man 5 weapon for Neptune. I will say the arrow weapon is great though because you can use it as a platform if needed. The game does an excellent job representing the Darkwing universe, so to speak. The graphics here really look awesome, and the Darkwing gameplay sprite is really well done. And I know I'm biased, but this game needed way more launch pad, oh well. But all the pertinent bad guys are here, Quacker Jack, Liquidator, Wolf Duck, and they're all instantly recognizable thanks to the quality pixel art. I will say the soundtrack here isn't as great as the other Capcom Disney games, and part of that is because of the Darkwing Duck theme, it just doesn't lend itself that well to an 8-bit soundtrack. It's a great theme and it's easily recognizable, but it sounds just okay on the NES. The rest of the tracks too are just average. Anyway, people love to remember the old Capcom Disney NES games, but it seems like Darkwing Duck often gets forgotten, and that shouldn't be the case, as this is a top quality game. There's also a Game Boy port that's a very faithful representation of the NES game, if you're interested in seeking that out as well. But yeah, you want to be the terror that flaps in the night? You want to be the uh, wrong number that wakes you up at 3am? Then check out Darkwing Duck for NES, and let's get dangerous!